Luna Oi! Hey. Get on the metro! Hi, I'm EJ. I'm Luna. This is an old-fashioned Luna Oi travel video. We haven't done these intros yes. and outros in a while, but we're yeah. standing here in front of the Hanoi Metro Station. And it's called Gatling Station. We are at Gatling Zhang Vo Crossroad, walking toward Gatling Metro Station. This metro line just opened six months ago in Hanoi, and this is my first time riding it. Besides the metro system, Hanoi also has many other forms of public transportation, such as these green city buses that you're looking at. Hanoi is a big city of about 8 million people, so public transportation is an essential part of this city. The light does turn green, let's walk across the road. Today is a rainy day and the weather is a little bit foggy, a perfect day to ride the train. So this is Gatling Metro Station, looks really nice. Now let's go inside and buy tickets. I'm reading instruction about how to protect yourself from COVID-19 while being on the train. And this is a train map. We are here at Gatling Station, right on the top. And we will go to Hadong Station today. I'm a little bit confused about where to scan the barcode for health declaration, so I decided to go as a security guard. This nice man showed me the place to scan the barcode, and here I am scanning it. Every shop, restaurant, public building in Vietnam has a QR code. If you enter any of those, you just need to open your PC COVID app in your phone, scan it, and if there's any COVID case found in that place where you were there, the local authorities will call to inform you to go to take the free test. We are going to the second floor to buy the tickets. The train has been in operation for about half a year already, and there is not a single advertisement. Amazing! We are waiting in line for the ticket machine. In the meantime, let's check out this map. This is how the metro system will look like after we finish building them all. Vietnam started planning this Hanoi metro system in 1998. According to this plan, there will be 8 metro lines. We just finished the first line in November 2021. The second line will hopefully be finished at the end of this year, 2022. It takes too long to wait to use the ticket machine, so I decided to buy directly from the ticket lady. The price for a ticket from Gatling to Ha Dong, about 10 kilometers, is about 50 cents. You can also buy the one-day ticket for the price of 1.3 US dollars. There's a Hanoi Metro card, brand new. 30,000? 13. 13,000 dong. It's like about 50 cents. 50 cents. The reason why it's so cheap is because the government subsidized up to 70% of all the tickets. Children under 6, old people, disabled people, poor people can use the metro for totally free. Disability access? This Hanoi metro system is also very friendly to old and disabled people. Elevators are everywhere and no infrastructure was built to support them. Are we sure we're on the right side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Which way do we want to go? Is this the end of the line? Yeah. This is the end of the line? Ah, okay, so then all the trains will go the same. Let's get on the train. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is amazing. This is like a whole new... F this is disabled people. This is for like old people and stuff. Social distancing. Oh, okay, so social distancing space. Okay. Dude, this is incredibly exciting for me. Really? Mm -hmm. This is going to change Hanoi in a good way. How do you feel? I feel very excited too. I mean, like, this is my first experience. After all in Thailand, I think. This is a huge accomplishment for Vietnam. I'm very proud, actually. And finally, Vietnam has this, you know. Every time you should focus, like, develop their cities and their, like, nation. Because, like, this is, like, really one of the best public transportation. And can you believe it? The old highway like this, the bright ticket is, like, 50 cents. Because the government like subsidized the price. It's awesome. Mm. I love it. We also have a monthly ticket option. It only costs 8.7 US dollars for a month. If you are students or workers in an industrial zone, your monthly ticket will be discounted 50%. Oh this kid. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a city boy. <laughs> he is a city boy. I gotta get a shot of this kid. I got it. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is station map. A station is represented by one red light. When you pass a station, the light will be off. 
You can see that the Gatling light is now off because we start from here. We're got Gatling. Ah, uh, that's where we are right now. That's where we're going. That's the direction we're going. These are some rules that you must follow, such as keep clear of the door, no smoking, mind the gaps between the floor and the railway. The train is about to leave. The lady on the speaker is informing everybody to get ready for the trip. Here we go! First ride yes. on the Hanoi Metro system. Here we go! 10 years. Waited 10 years for the It's worth it! I'm freaking, I feel like I'm at Disney World right now. This is so awesome to me. Look at the city line from this angle. First time you've ever seen this. It's a whole new city. Like, seriously, this is a whole new city now. It's so smooth, you know. I know. I have a severe motion sickness, but we're now fine. We're now fine. Wow, Hanoi looks so different from a metro. It really does. I'm so happy right now. This is so great. Here we are at Latine. Latine. Okay, so you know what this means. Like a lot of people have asked if Hanoi is good for disabled people to live. This makes it possible yeah. for foreign disabled people to live here. Yes, yes. Like a lot of people will be able to live in, in Hanoi who couldn't before. Speaking of, there's the disabled line right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. When I was that story, oh my. 50 years ago, you know, so uh, the old part of Hanoi is not really friendly to disabled people, but like every new part that we build, they all friendly visit. Yeah, yep. Like, so, disabled people is like a huge part of Vietnamese. It's gonna get better and better as time goes along. Oh, it's so cute. Each of those station has different color. Yeah, no, the, the design is really good. Mm. I've been in a lot of different. Oh, look at that shot. Mm. It's so damn smooth, oh my god. Look <laughs> at the old buildings out there, wow. This is so awesome. You can't see because of the mask, but I'm grinning ear to ear. I've been waiting for this for 10 years now. When I first moved to Hanoi, I lived right next to the metro line, but they were just started building it. That was in 2013. So we just saw the columns in the middle of the road, but it's here now. And I'm riding it, and it's so good. So awesome, I'm, I'm so happy right now. Lots of people have been complaining about how slow we build this major line. But in fact, according to an article called Comparison of Cost and Construction Times of First Major Lines in Asia, written by James Clark, the Hanoi Metro Systems was built pretty fast and cheap compared to many other major systems in many other Asian countries. There's the uniform. The like formal uniform. He looks like an airline pilot. I like the hair. Yeah. Feels like part of the city already. Yeah, right? You know? I don't like the uniform. <laughs> of your heartbeat. I can hear this is a big, big push forward for development, I'll tell you. Look at that. See all that traffic? There, this was one of the most. This is one of the most traffic blocked areas. Yeah. So this subway's got to help a lot. Or the metro's got to help a lot with that. Yeah, yeah. Such a different angle of Hanoi. Oh my god. I've never seen it this way. Luna and I used to drive down this street in rush hour all the time and it was so miserable. Thanks to the big help from China, Vietnam finally has our first mutual line and there's gonna be many more in near future. Here we go. Stand clear of the doors. <laughs> so cute. Bye bye. <laughs> We are going back to the area that me and EJ used to live in Hanoi. Luna, we lived here, man. Remember? Yeah, we lived here. 
We were waiting for them to open this metro the whole time we lived there. Yeah, right. All through 2019. It already looks kind of old. <laughs> exactly, 10 fucking years, man. Here we go. Get ready to use your vape. Yep, stick it in the card slot. Oh no, is I put a ticket on the wrong door. Now he's stuck. And the staff of the station had to go open a special door so he could get out. Come on, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I think I went on the wrong side. Um, like a noob. <laughs> so the lady just go rescue you? <laughs> yeah. Good service. Yep. That's it right there, right? So we could dox ourselves now since we don't live there anymore. <laughs> Actually, maybe we should have gone one more station. Yeah, we should. I didn't know, so. Now we know. Now we know. This is the wrong way. Elevator for disabled people, every station. Oh my god, this is so weird. We haven't been there in, we haven't been here in so long, Luna. Yeah, right. We've been sitting this for so long. <laughs> and of course, um, Metro exits would be a great place for grab guys to hang out. <laughs> it's like a whole new business, you know, strategy. We should have gone down to the next station. It's actually closer to our old house, but that's fine. We enjoy walking in our old neighborhood anyway. Good morning, Uncle Ho. You can see this kind of communist banner all over Vietnam. This is an attempt to fight against the capitalist westernization in our society today. This is the kind of traffic. Imagine this without the subway to support it. It's how we used to live. The traffic jam in Ross Hour on this street used to be our nightmare. But now, because of the metro, this is not even a problem anymore. And right ahead is the solution. Buses and the metro. Me and EJ just went shopping in our old neighborhood. And now we are taking the metro to go to Royal City, a big shopping mall, to have lunch. This is what it would have been like for us to live here. Yeah, right. Anytime we wanted to go downtown, we could have just... No, we should have moved. COVID would have been not worth it. <laughs> Bye, Hadong. Buy our old apartment. We are going back for lunch now. Luna's using the machine. Let's see if Luna can figure it out on her own. This is the true test of a metro system. I don't even know. Where do you, which station do you want to go to? Go to Lang, I think. Click Lang. There you go. And click two. You want two? Tickets. Yeah, map, right? Yep. You said cash here, Yep. And you, you gotta. I click it. Hui ball. What does that mean? Sang yet. Oh, sang yet. There you go. Insert cash. It's green. Goodbye, Ho Chi Minh. Have fun on your adventure. Luna doesn't know how to use vending technology. I think, do you have to use ex exact change? The ticket machine just weirdly didn't take my money. Immediately, there were two people came to help. One is a security guard and one is a metro staff. It doesn't like the brand new ones. Yes, it turns out that my money is too new for the machine to recognize. Ah, that's the trick. So, my tip is, if your money is brand new, you need to make it wrinkle before putting it in the ticket machine. I did it, and it worked. There you go. Yay. Come on, thank you. <laughs> okay, we got our tickets again. You the whole thing? I did. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I, if I do this right this time. Last time I think I was on the wrong side. Bing. Here we are. Alright, we want to go to Kathleen, right? Kathleen, the design's so good. Please be careful and mind your stuff. The train is coming. We are going from La Khe Station to Thượng Ninh Station. The train is very clean and everyone is wearing masks and trying to keep social distance. I can tell that everyone here is taking COVID-19 very seriously. And yes, I don't see any advertisements on the train or on the station. 
Ok, we are at Thượng Đình Station. It's time to get out. We had lunch at a Chinese restaurant in the shopping mall. We also just heard that Hanoi just has a brand new electric bus route. We really want to experience it today. So we decided to go to the bus station right in front of the shopping mall to check out this brand new bus. I just met a lady in the bus station. She saw EJ holding a weird stick and I told her that it's actually a camera, a DJI. Yeah, the electric bus is coming. I'm so excited. The lady is not sure if this bus will take her to where she wants to be, so she's asking the bus driver. He then kindly told her to go to the bus station on the other side of the road because this bus goes the opposite way. The bus looks really nice. The engine is so quiet and the bus is extremely smooth compared to normal buses. Hanoi is pushing real hard to have more electric buses as a way to protect our environment and reduce air pollution, as well as move toward using green energy instead of fossil fuel. And these electric buses are made right here in Vietnam by the same company that is selling electric cars in the USA. This is our ticket staff. You give him money and he will print the tickets for you right away with the ticket printer in his hands. Just like the metro, the government also subsidized the bus ticket price. There are just three electric bus routes in Hanoi, but for sure there will be more and more in the near future. A ticket for this electric bus is 8,000 dong, around 30 cents. We just want to experience the electric bus, so we get out right at the next station. Bye electric bus! These are traditional buses run by gasoline. They are very loud and rough, but the strong point is that there are hundreds of them running all around Hanoi. You can literally go anywhere you want in Hanoi on traditional buses like this. Super high quality. And it's so smooth, so like quiet. Wow. And, and it's I, so cheap. I, 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 and right here is a metro Please station. Is that bus cheaper than the regular buses? Same. Same. Let's see if Luna's gotten better at doing this. Do I have 20,000 don? Let's see. I don't know. Can they take the smalls, like fives? Yeah, they can. Then yeah, I do. There's five. I have 15. So you're good? What was our total budget for travel today? So it's 56 this morning, and now it's 50 is 46 for metro. Plus, Two dollars. Plus 16 for the, uh, the bus. bus. It's like a, it's about 2.5 dollars. For two people or each? 2.5 for two people. Like wow. say like less than three dollars for two people. For a whole day of travel. Wow, amazing. All right, let's take our last little trip here. Luna's been using the metro for one day and she's already an expert. She figured out exactly where to go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I feel so awesome. So good. This, this is gonna give a lot of people freedom, you know, like they didn't have before. A lot of old people can get around town now easier. This is what you have when your local government has a good CD planning, especially good public transportation planning. Hanoi is a very beautiful city. It's still recovering from the bomb raids by the US in the war, but it is sure developing really quickly. I hope that the major system will be fully finished soon, and Hanoi will become more and more a modern, convenient, and environmental friendly city. Okay, that was a nice day out on the new public transit system. Yes. I'm very happy and proud of Hanoi, Vietnam right now. This is a new chapter in Vietnamese history yes. and we're excited to see the system develop and we will keep you yes. uh, in the loop as things develop. We'll, we'll show you. So thanks for watching. And see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. This is Luna Oi. Hi everyone. I just want to thank all my supporters on Patreon, my YouTube channel members and my comrades on comradery.co. You are the reason I can make these videos, so thank you so much. If you want to support this channel, see the links in the description, or you can click like or share the video, that helps a lot too. And if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe! Thank you so much and bye-bye!